students. Today in your geometry class, you're going to be working on similarity in length, perimeter, area, and volume. So before we start, this would be a good time for you to pause your screen and practice working on these two warm-up problems. Hopefully you've paused your screen and you're coming back to check the answers. For number one, it says find the area of a regular pentagon. So in order for us to do that, let's sketch out a quick pentagon with lengths of side 4 and we're going to draw a couple right triangles just to stress how many triangles we have and the ones that we're going to be working with. So in a pentagon we should have five large triangles and ten right triangles that are much smaller. So for our purposes, we're going to think about only this one right triangle on the bottom. Now because it's a right triangle, that means the base of this right triangle is 2. And we're going to have to calculate the angles. So because there are 10 smaller right triangles in the center, we are going to do 360 divided by 10, which tells us that the angle of this smaller triangle here is 36 degrees and what we need to do is find the height. So we're going to use some of our trig functions which would be tan of 36 degrees equal to opposite which is 2 divided by the adjacent which is the y and our y is our height. Simplifying this further we are going to get y equals tan 36 divided by 2 and once we plug that into our calculator, we will get, sorry, I wrote this down wrong. It should be y equals 2 divided by tan 36. And once you substitute that in, you get 2 and 75 hundredths is our height. So now we're going to find the area of our right triangle, which is 1 half the base, which is 2, times the height, which is 2.75 and that will give us the area of one of our right triangles which the area of that right triangle then is two and seventy five hundredths now because we have ten right triangles we actually will get two point seven five times 10 and that's equal to 27.5 so for number two we have are these two figures similar why or why not so if you drop the smaller triangle or rectangle we see the ratio and the size are 2 to 4 which is just double but if we look at the base size, it's 3 to 9, which is triple. Therefore, these are not similar. Now, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine the similarity in the length, perimeter, and area, and volume of figures. That says if two figures have similarity in their lengths, A to B, then they also have similarity in their in the following, th following length, perimeter, area, and volume. So if the ratio of length is A to B, perimeter is A to B, the volume is A squared to B squared, and volume, or area is A squared to B squared, and volume is A cubed to B cubed. So, to make that a little bit easier to see, I took the liberty of following, bringing some of this, uh, these ratios with me. Now example one says, given two similar parallelograms, find the ratio in their perimeters, area, and volume. So if the ratio of their size in these two similar figures is 3 to 5, and using this table to the right, the ratio in their perimeters should also be 3 to 5. The ratio in their areas should be 3 squared to 5 squared, which is 9 to 25. And the ratio.
ratio in their volumes should be 3 cubed to b cubed, which is 27 to 125. For example 2, it says given two triangles with area 75 meters squared and 12 meters squared, find the ratio for the perimeter, then the volume. So, again using this table, they give us the ratio of the areas. So we're going to say 75 to 12, which we can simplify to 5, or sorry, 25 fourths, because they both have a factor of 3. Now, in order for us to find the volume, we have to go back to the length. So from area, which is a squared to b squared, we're actually going to take the square root. So the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 4 is 2. Now, notice how to get the perimeter from area, we have to go, we have to downsize our square root. Now to go to volume, notice it's a cubed to b cubed. So if a is 2, then a cubed should be 125 to 8. And if we check our answers, it's right. So example 3, it says given the ratio of the sides, find the length of the larger triangle. So again, using this table to assist us, we know that the ratio in the sides is 2 to 1. That means the ratio in their areas should be 4 to 1. So now we have to look at the ratios of the larger triangle to smaller triangle. The area of the larger triangle is x because we don't know what it is. The ratio of the smaller triangle is 20. So we're going to go ahead and set that equal to the ratio of our areas that we found earlier, which is 4 to 1. Now using the cross product property, we have 1 times x equals 4 times 20. We get x equals 80. So the area of the larger triangle is 80. Now it's your turn. Try problems 1 and 2 and send me a direct note through Edmodo. That's all for now. See you guys next time.